any martial arts staff, any long staff, medium sized staff, even a shorter staff, I like to use this bow. Start with my hand in the middle. You're gonna turn it from side to side. Just warming up the wrist, get the blood to flow into the joint, stay safe from injury during this workout. After you do this for 30 seconds in one hand, you put it in the other hand, you're gonna do 30 seconds spinning on this side, just getting that wrist lubricated. The blood gets in there, the plasma gets in there, stay safe from injury. Now go from one hand over to the other hand. If you're training martial arts at home and you prefer to use the long martial arts staff, Koreans call this the jangbong, and uh, the bow staff is the term, the Japanese term, the Okinawan term. Hello, it's good to see you. Maybe you use the Chinese cudgel or the bang, the long staff. But you just go to side to side. The moves are all about the same at the very basic level. Once you get into striking and fighting, it's a little bit different, but we're working mostly on spins and we use a lot of spins to warm the body up. From here, after you've gone side to side, I want you to turn it all the way over so that your pinky... Oh, I'm back. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. That's been happening a little bit lately. I'm gonna turn it up, come over the top, turn it, and keep it going. This is my right hand. It just pinky faces the sky, palms facing each other or in opposite directions, however that looks to you. The bottom hand is open. There's the butterfly. We call it a butterfly spin because of that. And you can go in both directions. I want you to go in both directions in this workout today. When you're training bow staff at home, spins for your long martial arts staff or any size martial arts staff, this spin is essential to learn. This becomes a transition spin when you start to do a lot of different moves. All right, from here, that was my, my internet. I don't know, as the phone, I got kicked off. Maybe it's that big storm they say is coming up out of the Atlantic. Uh, Fred, I think they've named it Fred, Tropical Storm Fred. And I think the sun's coming in, it's hitting me kind of funny. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if we can change the angle a little. I'm using kind of, I broke the other camera holder. There we go, using kind of a janky setup right now. But I'm coming over the top. I wanted to do some bow spinning at home, going in either direction. Because I know we haven't trained bow for a little bit. And I like to train mine daily. You probably like to train with the long staff daily. You get better faster. This butterfly spin, look where my hands are. It's just, just that. Yeah, it's, it's not that the storms are gonna do anything. It's not gonna like mess anything up. It's just that it interrupts the internet a little bit. Maybe because everybody's watching it on the news, right? So they're live streaming news or something, I don't know. This is a butterfly, or a uh, spin, side to side, a figure eight spin, but I'm doing it to the side of my body. I want you to do it sometimes in different planes. You can start in front of your body. Just think of carving sideways figure eight or infinity sign Come here do this for about 30 seconds then step up so your feet are just under your body and do that from one side to the front and the back one of your goals could be to get really good at uh, flowing bow flow bow staff flow martial arts staff flow or what we used to call freestyle Freestyle spinning, you're just turning. To be able to do a lot of freestyle spins, you have to have basic strength, but also comfort in these different planes of motion, in front of the body, to the side of the body, and then going through the middle of the body. If you know what the different planes are called, please put that in the comment section below. Um, sagittal plane, frontal home, you're gonna go through these different planes of motion. This is the transverse plane. I'm going from one side of the body, crossing through the middle. All I'm doing is I'm taking this figure eight spin. I'm gonna bring the palm up, catch it behind, pinky to pinky, palm faces the sky. I keep stepping in the sunsets here, and I'm literally one block from the ocean, one block from the intercoastal, and then there's a little island called Singer Island. On the other side is the Atlantic. And then you go all the way across, you run into Cuba, the Caribbean. You keep going, and you're into Africa, Europe, 
that's where we are. But the cool thing is because of the way the buildings, the sun sets right there and it's starting to set. And as that happens, the sun comes down and it's like a flame throws fire in here and the building in here goes up 10 degrees. No matter how high I have the air conditioning on, it's gonna rise 10 degrees right now from now and for the next hour and a half. And then I get, it's like a sauna, working out in a sauna, you get a good sweat going. After you do this forward spinning and transitioning hand to hand, I want you to now reverse and pull with the small side of the hand or the pinky side, pulling up and across to the front of the body. Remember there's that transverse plane. If you know the name of the planes, please put those in the comment section. I can never remember. I could Google it, but we're working on the phone right now. After you do 30 seconds with one hand, you're gonna take it in front of the other hand and pull it out with that other hand. 30 seconds here, and then you're gonna to start to go hand to hand. When you do bow staff training at home, spins for your martial arts staff, you wanna do both a forward spin and a reverse spin. You're gonna go slow enough that you can figure out whether you're going forward or reverse. It's easy to trick your mind you think you're going one way and you're really going the other way. Also, do this reverse spinning to the front and the back of your body. And from here, I want to show you how to transition to the other hand so that you can spin over here. This is going to help you, again, when you start to do your bow flow or your martial arts long staff freestyle, so to freestyle with your staff, you're going to turn palm facing away, pinky up, Take it, allow it to spin, and now you're gonna be in a forward spin on the other side to bring it back. I'm going to bring it palm up, pinky to pinky, and over to the other side. So I'm gonna reverse spin on my right. I turn it all the way over, grab it, and put it in a forward spin on the left, and when I'm ready to bring it back, I bring it back to the right. So I'm gonna slow that down. I'm doing reverse spin. I'm ready to go to the left hand. On the reverse spin, it's gonna transition with pinky up. Take it in the left hand, continue that spin. Now you're in a forward spin. When you're ready to bring it back to the right, palm up, pinky to pinky, and pull it up. Again, going to the other side is this transition, and then you can go behind your back. Going behind your back, you're simply just turning your hand down, your thumb comes up, right? And when you do that, your other thumb is gonna come under it, thumb up, and you're just gonna take it out. I'm gonna turn around so you can see what that looks like. Thumb up, thumb out. Same thing, either hand, thumb up, thumb out. So go into a spin, now I'm in the forward spin, I'm going to change to the left in the reverse spin. When I go back over, I'm gonna to have to do that over the top spin, throw it behind my back. If I want, I can now lift my hand straight up, go over the head, and now I'm into the other hand. So now you're just practicing going from one side to the other side and back. There are different ways. Let me show you all the different ways again. This is a forward spin you can bring it palm up in front of your body, take it, and now you're in a reverse spin to bring it back, pinky side up, go over the top, back into a forward spin. The second way, go behind your back, pull it out. Now I'm in a reverse spin, bring it back over the top, I'm in a for or forward spin, or go behind your back and then straight up, over your head and now you're back into the other side so this is just a way to practice transition so when you're ready you can start to move and turn and switch and drop it and pick it up because when you drop it you always pick it up run under your fingers change positions whip it up over the head go this way turn the other way all of that is built off of this basic going from one side to the other side. Another way you can do that is from this turn, I can bring that whole arm over to this side. So I do 
the turn here. I do the turn here and I turn it over, turn my body over, doing the turn here, behind the back. And that's where we're gonna have to stop it because I think I keep getting disconnected. And I'll see